from a place we're not allowed to reveal. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Yeah. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. A different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that he is. Not hosted by a right wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Right now, our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. 1 800 5 800 66. It's like is 101, the ongoing on air adult education course that teaches men how to get more tail for less money. Just as importantly, we teach women how men think at 1 800 5 800 866. Let's say hello here to Alex on Ligus 101. Hello. Professor Ligus, how are you? Great. Uh, okay, I'm nervous because um, I'm a longtime listener, but I've, I'm failing your course for what I'm about to say. I got suckered in in a relationship, and I actually, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I just, I, you know, I do your thing, you know, what you What saying. you did wrong is you got suckered into a relationship. Yes, even I know that, and I'm even asking myself, why am I even still with this girl? So and, tell us. Well, I, you know, I, I met this girl. She's really hot, and um, I met her at this bar. I know that's the first mistake, and, uh, <laughs> you know, I just... The first night went great, and then I decided to ask her out on the second night, and it went. I guess the sex is also one of the things I feel that's holding me back with her. And she got, she gave me that card where, like, if you don't want to have, I mean, if you want to be in a, to have sex, you want, we have to be in a relationship. And obviously, I decided to say yes to the relationship. I don't understand why you needed to be in a relationship. You're 23 years old. Yes, I know. I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I just... Yeah, I told I, you what you're doing wrong. You got into a relationship. Uh, I, I I like the sex. <laughs> yeah, but why do you have to be in a relationship? Well, I, if she was doing that, if, uh, if we're not together, then I'm not going to give it up. And I got to admit, it's been... But if you had other women, if you were spinning a lot of plates, if you had a bullpen, it wouldn't yeah. matter. You would not have to give in to her demands. True. You would also be surprised how many times you do not give in to a woman's demands that she stays around anyway. That's true. So should I just... Uh... Do you know how I know that? How? Because I had a bullpen for years. <laughs> and uh, every once in a while, one of them would get all hyper and start stamping her little feet, huffing and puffing and making a lot of noise about breaking up with me. Yeah. And I'd be like, you do whatever you have to do. Yeah. You'd be amazed how many of them don't leave. So I should just walk away? Of course. But right. then when you do, you need to do what you didn't do before. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, she's a 10. That's why I guess I got suckered into it. And well, I but... guess that's the highest I ever had before. Fine, and you got you uh, you got to hit it and hit it and hit it again. It gets worse though. You had a baby with her. No, 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 no. Of course not. Of course not. Of course not. Um, well, it, we've been dating for now two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. And you're already in a relationship. Yeah, I know. She's loonier than you are. <laughs> well, it gets worse. I, I I went in there without a glove. Why did you do that? Oh, so I remember I just said, did you have a baby? (laughs) Uh, Yeah, hopefully not. I'm knocking on wood when I get home. You can knock on wood all you want. Let me ask you a question, Alex. Okay. I see uh, that, uh, are are you Hispanic? Yes. Is she Hispanic? Uh, She's not. She's not. Does she use birth control? Uh, She showed me the pills, and that's why I decided to go for it. But why? (laughs) And I I made sure she drank one in the morning as well. That's the old, drank what? The drank a pill in front of me. She drank a pill? 
Yeah. Are they making liquid pills now? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Dude, listen to me. Listen up. Okay. It's the oldest trick in the book. Hey, see, look at the pills. She's shown those pills to 10 different guys. I mean, are you on a crash course with destruction here? You're trying to self-destruct? No, no, no. Why do you want to have a baby? I don't, I don't. You're not acting like somebody who doesn't want to have a baby. <laughs> You're acting like somebody who does want to have a baby. It's just, I've never done that before. And I guess I was just, wanted to see how it feels. Yeah, well, you, how, you're going to see how it feels when you have to pay this woman for the next 25 years. Well, I'm going to have to pray for a Hail Mary then. <laughs> you're just heading for destruction here. You're heading for self-destruction. Uh, why? I don't know. That's why I called you. And she's 26. Uh, and I graduated last year, too. I got my bachelor's in political science. Yeah, and what do you do for a living? Well, right now I'm actually a substitute teacher at an elementary school. Uh, <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> What's that pay in these days, $12 an hour? Yeah. Great. That's great. Yeah, uh, doesn't and sound too great. So how many, uh, how many dollars per week are you currently earning? Well, obviously not a lot. You're making less than $480 a week because you don't even work 40 hours. I don't. I do 20. 20 hours, $12 an hour, $240 a week. Ah. Uh, so you're living in your parents' basement? No, nope, just my room. Your room of your parents' house. Right. Single mother. Your mom is a single mother. Now it's starting to come into focus. So you living at your mom's place. Yeah. Right. So you're pussy whipped and a pussy. Let me guess, your mom told you your dad was a jerk. Yes. Right. Well, they got divorced. And she told you he was an a-hole and a jerk, right? Yes. Deadbeat, creep, whatever. Yeah. Now, Alex... I'm going to ask you the same question I ask everybody in this scenario. Okay. Did it ever occur to you to wonder why your mom wanted to have a baby with an a-hole? No. Yeah. Uh, that's who your mom was attracted to. Uh, you see? And that's why you need to be one. So while your mom is busy telling you what an a-hole your dad was, yeah. she conveniently forgets to remind you that she had sex without birth control with an a-hole. She wanted to have a baby with an a-hole. She married an a-hole. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so all your years growing up, she taught you to respect women and be a nice guy. But in the meantime, yeah. like all women, your mother was attracted to a-holes. Correct? Yeah. Have you ever uh, spoken to your dad since they got a divorce? Yeah, yeah, he got remarried. Uh huh. And he's still he's still the same guy. <laughs> Maybe you ought to get to know him a little better. <laughs> and I, yeah, I, I don't really get along with him too. So yeah, yeah that's because you you know why you don't get along with him because your mom told you not to. Yeah. Because your mom told you what a jerk he is. You were predisposed to not liking him. Yeah, that's true. I guess I grew. Yeah, it is true. I did grow up not like not liking for what he did. Right. Well, uh -huh. think about it. That's the kind of man your mom was hot for. You yeah. want to know something else? That's the kind of man most women are hot for. Jerks. All right. You want to find out what your dad knows about game. <laughs> Yeah. Right? Yeah. I'll bet your mom called him a womanizer, too. <laughs> right? No, everything, Tom. Wouldn't you like to be a womanizer? Yeah, of course. Yeah, but instead you're a nice guy. 
Who has yeah. a girlfriend after two weeks? And then who has sex without a condom? One. <laughs> it's all it takes. Yeah. Uh, one mistake. No, no. It's all it takes. Just walk out now? That's all I got to do? Yep. Okay. All right. Or you, like or you might uh, keep having sex with her with a condom until she has her period. So that you know. Okay. I like that. Or spend as little time with her as possible between now and her period. <laughs> okay. Don't laugh. All right. You don't want to take any risks here. Okay. Thank you so much, Professor Likis. Son, I'm here. I'm here to help. He needs to take like a road trip and go spend like a week with his dad. Find out what his dad knows that he doesn't know. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Megan on the Tom Likas Show. Likas 101. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm great. Um, I am a fan of your show, but I have to start off by saying that I was not always a fan of your show. And I was similar to the caller that you had a couple calls ago. So, yes, now I am a fan now. Um, I don't know whether or not to thank you or be afraid of you for what you have made me feel about guys and how secure I am now going out into the world at 18 knowing that I can't get hurt by guys. You say, are you saying you feel secure or insecure? No, very, very secure. You, you have taught me well, sir. I um, know, I, I want to I say the D word so bad, but he said he'd bleep me. Um, I, know, I know what guys can do to me now, so I'm not afraid of cutting a guy off. I feel like I'm a guy now. You I, should know the only reason we talk to you <laughs> is to get your clothes off. You know what? And to that girl that called, her mom and that guy are having sex. I'm of sorry. Of course please. they are. By the way, that was a boy. His name was, oh, was Eric. A boy? Everyone oh. thought that was a girl. It was a boy. He was uh, 10 years oh. old. Wow. He sounded like a Wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just wanted to call. I can't stay on the phone long, Tom, but I just wanted to say thank you. And to the girls out there, all guys are jerks. Thanks, Tom. Thank you, Megan. All guys are jerks if they do it right. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. I am your professor, and this is Likus 101. Tom Likus. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Likus 101 ought to be a required course for every child entering elementary school. And then they should give it to them again in junior high. And they should give them a refresher course in high school. And if they ever make it to college, which I'm afraid most of your listeners don't, they should teach an advanced course. It's Likus 101 on the Tom Likus Show. It's Tom Likus Show. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. The room smells like barbecue sauce. They're having this promotion over at Carl's Jr. where they're up. You buy one Western bacon cheeseburger, you get one free. That's today on. And uh, the folks at Carl's Jr. brought us a bag of Western bacon cheeseburger. Now, I've told you, I've always been a fan of Carl's. Well, I'm a big fan of fast food, but I'm a big, big fan of Carl's Jr. I once actually owned stock in the company for many years. I like it that much. That is one great burger. And not only is it one great burger, but uh, just their whole marketing approach, the way they do these commercials that are aimed at their target audience, like kind of like we do our show. They don't worry about who's offended. It's for guys Guys who like meat, lots and mm, that is good. Lots and lots of meat. Now my mouth tastes like barbecue sauce. That's good. And by the way, whoever had the idea of putting a couple of onion rings on that burger, man deserves a Nobel Prize. That's good stuff. Jeez. We're still working our way through an entire bag of boxes of fries. 
So um, if I sound a little distracted or like I'm uh, just going to sit here and belch my way through the next 40 minutes, now you know why. It's good stuff. Gary, do we know why they're giving these burgers away? Oh, they're giving them away because I guess some of the competitors have tried to ape this burger unsuccessfully, I might add. And uh, so they're just reminding everybody of why they love it. And they had uh, a chick on a bull, mechanical bull, at Hollywood and Highland today. Well, like the commercial. Just like the commercial, which is like one of the greatest commercials of all time. Well, of course it is. It's hotter than hell. Oh, yeah. I love chicks on bulls. I like it with barbecue sauce dripped all over them. Who needs, uh, like, like chocolate or candle wax on a chick? How about barbecue sauce? I like that. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Well, what are you going to do? I'm a burger fiend. And there's nothing like going to Carl's Jr. and getting meat with meat on it. Big, fat strips of bacon sticking out the side of this hamburger. It's insane. And saying that's just uh, for decoration. <laughs> Ridiculous. Are they doing a Western Bacon $6 burger now? Did I see that? Yeah. What does that weigh, like 40 pounds? It's good stuff. All right, one eight hundred five eight hundred top. It's like it's one oh one. I'll try to hit the burp button next time. Uh Jim, hello. Hey Tom, how you doing? Doing okay, Jim. Man, hearing you talk about Carl's Jr. makes me want to get off right now and get some of that. Uh you really should because uh you you buy one, you get one free of that Western Bacon cheeseburger. That's a pretty good uh, deal. I'm telling you it's kinda of hard when you're stuck on traffic like I am right now, just sitting on this traffic. I hate that. Well, anyway, Tom, let me just tell you what's going on here. I got myself in a little situation. Um, first off, let me just say I'm dating this girl. I'm 19 years old. I'm 22. Uh, she's basically getting run by her mom. You know, everything that... Uh, Why do you have a girlfriend at 22? I'm sorry? You're 22 and you have a girlfriend? Why? 19 years old. You, well, you know, she she's bomb. You know, she looks good. And, so why couldn't you just have sex with her? Why do you need a girlfriend? Uh, you know, Tom, it got to the point where I just wanted to lock it up. I didn't want no one else hitting that. I just what do you to, care? The, pie. the price is too high. You know, but she was a virgin, though. It's like I wanted to scope it to, you know, oh. what I wanted. It. And then I don't want no guy to be on it. I mean, I know it sounds kind of, kind of, you know, worse of me, but just wanted to keep it to myself. Oh, uh, boy. You know, that's kind of foolish now because now with the situation I'm going to explain is just going to maybe look like an idiot. What situation is this? Well... She's pregnant. Oh, come on. I just found out two months. That's what happens. I know. And, you know, and it makes it even worse that um, I have to take, I have to deal with all this nonsense from her mom that points out all these things that I do. By she, the way, uh, didn't I warn you about condoms, Jim? I, well, I was, I was handling those condoms, and one night I just, you know, I got greedy, and I just decided to not, you know, I wanted to bear back it one night, and it cost me. Well, of course. I mean, it, it, is it worth it now? The next 21 years of paying and paying and paying? Uh, that's why I had to call the professor. To oh, now, know you call the prof now you call me. You, you know, what's funny is my brother told me about this show about, like, two weeks ago. I kid you not. And I, when I jumped on it, I'm like, why can't I listen to this the past two years? You know, I'm over here 22 trying to have a girlfriend. I could have listened to the Like It's 101. I look at me. Yeah. So, so I mean, you, what you, are, you, what you do about this, this mom, though? It's forget it. You can't mom. change it. You picked all these people. You're getting exactly what you deserve. Well, and, you know, she told the, the mom everything about the kids, so, you know, she's all happy. All right. Well, you lock, you wanted to lock it up. Well, you know, let me tell you about a story. That I heard a, there's a story about a guy who mixed abortion pills in there. I was reading that. One of the, I was looking, I was uh, listening. I'm going to gonna tell you that's <laughs> illegal. And if you know, get caught playing. doing something like that, I'm just playing. But now, whatever. what I would definitely would not do, I would definitely not take her into a hot tub to celebrate. That's right. Because that could cause a spontaneous miscarriage, and you wouldn't want that. No, yeah, uh, right. I also would not recommend you saying, "Let's get a bottle of champagne and hop into the jacuzzi," mm -hmm. because oh. pregnant women are not supposed to be drinking. 
I mean, a That's guy right. called here a couple of weeks ago completely disregarded what I said. He did both things, and the woman had a miscarriage. Wow. You'd hate to see that happen. You know, that's right. You know, but at this point, I'm just basically you're saying I'm screwed. I deserve it. No. Did did you try the Hail Mary? No. Uh, you know, I, I was going to do that Hail Mary pass, but, uh, you know, it just happened all of a sudden. And she told her parents before she even told me, so I couldn't even get the play set going on. There we go. All so, right. all right, well, again, stay away from the hot tub and the champagne. All right, well, at least I need to take me out. Because it would be wrong. If you went to her and said, let's get a bottle of champagne and celebrate, and then you got into the – you don't have a jacuzzi available to you, do you? Oh, no, I don't. Good. I have an apartment, maybe. And you don't know anybody who does, do you? No. Yeah, yeah well, I do. Mm. Well, don't be going over there. Yeah, that's true. All right. Well, and, I mean, and, and, and if worse comes to worse, definitely don't like rent a hotel room where they've got a hot tub because uh, that would be equally wrong. And, you know, this ruins my whole bullpen. You know, you talked about a bullpen in one of your episodes. You know, I have a bunch of, you know, other girls. You just said you had to lock this one up, so that's your girlfriend. You made a decision. <sighs> Man. That's okay. Now you are getting exactly what you deserve a lifetime of servitude. Yes, you thought they abolished slavery in 1865. Mm-hmm. Well, you uh -huh. know, I, and the last thing I want is some drama and end, end up paying some child support. You know? Oh, you're you're not just paying some child support. You're paying all the child support. Oh, So wow. let me guess. Your girl doesn't have a job. She's out in college. I'll tell you right now. She works for a, a retail store, a phone retail store. A what? Making, make, making worse than the guy that I just had talking about 20, huh? 20 hours a week. There you go. Hours up to teach us. Okay. And so you okay. said to yourself, you know what? I'm going to bareback it with this one. <laughs> wow, it was a thick and straight. It was, you know, Did you ever think of playing Russian time? roulette? I got another game for you. Uh, Why just get a pistol with five of the chambers empty and one with a bullet? Chances go, are you won't blow your brains out. It was the heat of the moment. I mean, they just, they just Stop with the heat of the moment. You know what? I've had many hot moments over the years. Are we strapped? No moment was ever so hot that I said to myself, well, we'll see what happens. <laughs> wow. I'm still young, though. Well, yeah, and you're going to be real desirable to women when they find out that you have to pay money to an ex-girlfriend. That's that's the worst. You don't want no baby mama drama, and I see it coming already. Yeah, yeah. And let me ask you another question, Jim. Uh, what college did you graduate from? Uh, you know what? I didn't go to college. I'm shocked. You know, I know. If every caller calls in, I didn't go to college. Yeah. You know, it's amazing how many of you people have that in common, isn't it? Uh, well, I just decided to work after. I, I was, I'm not a, not everybody's meant for school, and I, I felt Oh, like I know, I and I'm it. sure you've got a great job that pays a lot of money. What do you do? Oh, uh, well, let me break it to you. I do a nice little collection. Collection. Like, people on the phone. That's on that. great. So you're a skip tracer. That's fantastic. Mm-hmm. That's great. How much are you making doing that? Uh, well, it's about 14 plus commission. Ooh, fourteen dollars an hour. Let's review fourteen dollars an hour. How many hours a week? Thirty-five, forty. Well, I, well, lately I'm trying to save up, so I've been putting in some OT, you know. So I'm Ooh. probably about forty plus like five hours, you know. Little OT, huh? Uh, about forty hours plus like ten hours of overtime. And what do they pay for overtime? Time and a half. Time and a half, and not, not to mention those uh, incentive-driven goals. You know, you got to get that uh, that bonus check. Right. Right, and don't forget the uh, NBA playoffs are coming up. A lot oh. of people you can annoy during the Laker game. Oh, I'm going to be bugging them all day. But I don't sure you are. That's great. In halftime, they're going to get a call from me, for but sure. But do you remember when I said on this program, a name a job <laughs> where the guy probably knocked up his girlfriend? That would be one of them, son. Oh, man. So uh, next time I get a call from somebody during the NBA playoffs, I'll be thinking about people like you. Oh, who rode bareback, that. stupidly, and didn't go to college. Man, lay it on me, Tom. By the way, what's your big plan in life? You're going to be the manager of the skip tracers? You're going to be uh, the head skip tracer? Well, yeah, you know, I plan on becoming a manager. If I'm going to be, you know... Oh, going to be a manager, a manager of the collections department. That's great. You know, so you get to sit. You so know. you get to sit in the front of the room and tell people how to harass other people? Yeah. That's exactly. fantastic. Wow, that is rewarding work. 
you know, I just sit back and you know, let them do what they got to do. What I've been doing now, right now, I'm struggling. You know, being sitting in a little cubicle all day, putting in massive overtime. You know, that sounds very I rewarding. I, that sounds much better than going to college and getting a degree in something people respect. Well, a degree ain't, ain't what it used to be, Tom. I mean, oh yes, and you would know too. I, I see a bunch of people, you know, with degrees trying to trying to apply for a collector position, and it's like. Well, let me ask you a question. Like let Let me ask you a question. The CEOs of every major corporation, banks, uh, Procter and Gamble. Uh, Exxon, all the big oil companies. Uh, do you think they what had a GED? Well, I mean, I work for Westcom Bank. Ooh, still my oh. beating heart. And I know, I know, Westcom Bank is going to be uh, very anxious to give you a top management position with no degree. Well, I mean, it's all about experience nowadays. They care less. No, about well, you're going to find out the hard way, son. That's not true in certain businesses. Oh yeah, it's true in the radio business. It's true in the ad agency business. But it is definitely not true in the banking industry. It is not true in the financial services industry. Wow. So the I, other people with degrees will get promoted ahead of you, and you'll always be a grunt. Well, you know, I might call back and have that big CEO under my name, under my belt. And, I, I, I wouldn't bet on that, son. So you bet against me on that? Yes. So you're saying I should just go, go to college at age 22, is that what you're saying? Correct. And deal with that big student loan? That's right. Mm. And what should I study? What do you prefer? Just, just At least if you, take a decent, if you take a decent course of study and you get a decent degree, you'll have money to pay the student loan. This is very short-sighted thinking on your part. I'm just saying, though, I mean, I, 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 I went downstairs, I saw a job fair, and I seen a bunch of people, oh. mainly, mortgage, mainly mortgage and also people with degrees. And they're over here getting a $28,000 salary. It's just, you know, I see that in Southern California, and I don't, I don't see myself, you know, as I used to go get a degree when I see people. So you think the people who work at Google or Yahoo are making $28,000 a year? Coca-Cola Coca people are making fifty k, and you can just go out there and drive a car and, you know, market well, it. Well, that's, that's really long-term thinking. By the way, $50,000 a year these days is nothing. Hey, well, I mean. That ba like you barely get by in Southern California on fifty grand. Well, I'm sitting on 40, and I'm loving it right now. Ooh, you're loving life. Well, now, yeah, now, gasoline is $4 now, a man. gallon, and you are loving life. <laughs> now, look, look, son, don't, don't, don't BS a BSer, okay? I mean, please, tell your friends that you're a, you're, you're a big stud in, in, in the business world. But you're talking to a self-made multimillionaire, and I can smell BS from a mile away. You're a loser. <laughs> With a lousy job that pays lousy and has a lousy future, no that's future what you are. And you can you can you can try to spin it any way you like, but you're never going to sell it to me. And now you've knocked up your girlfriend, so you've dug yourself an even bigger hole. All right. And don't don't you be sitting here trying to convince me you're something you're not. I'm not. You know, I'm just saying I can only look forward. <laughs> No, no, but, but you got nothing to look forward to because <laughs> you go because you're going nowhere. The only the, the only reason you can look forward is because you're going backward. All right. See, if you're going backward, that's the direction you're looking forward. If you put your car in reverse, which way are you looking? Backwards. No. Well, you, if you can, oh, forward then. You're facing forward. So when you say you can only look forward, that's right. You're absolutely right because you're going in reverse. <laughs> All right. Well, that's definitely going to make me think twice now. So. Well, it's about time. Sounds like you haven't done much thinking at all. Well, to be honest, I just want to save up enough money, you know. To do what? Hey, well, that's, to that's, buy that's yourself, to, to buy buy yourself, uh, uh, you know, what, a Mazda Miata. Uh, uh, not that. What you want to save up money to do? What? Hey, it's always good to save nowadays, especially you right. said it. <laughs> Which one of your parents' bedrooms are you living in? Are you in the uh, middle bedroom, the smaller bedroom? Which one do you have? No, I got my own place, Tom. Really? Not that low. How not much that is low. how much is your rent, son? It's about it's a studio, so it's about nine hundred. That's great. A studio apartment. You, I'll tell you what, you are a stud. 
I never said I was a stud. I'm just saying I'm 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 trying to save money, so you know I live to do a- what? Hey, well, you know I want to be broke. But you're gonna save money and do what with it? For a rainy day, you never know what can happen. For a rainy day, yeah. you couldn't afford a goddamn umbrella if it rained. This come back to my life. Didn't I call in to get advice on this baby mama drama? With the well, mama? yeah, well, yeah. You know, like so many of you morons, you wait until you dug yourself such a big hole you can't get out of it, and then you call me and you want me to rescue you. Nah, no. Not... You knew about this course before you ever got yourself in trouble, but you chose to ignore it, right? That's right. And so now you expect me? It's like the old uh, sign I used to see at the gas station. It said, we fix bad brake jobs. Well, uh, I messed up. I understand I understand that. But, but you're uh, not doing anything better. You're continuing to be a, a, a moron, and you're continuing to run your life like you're going to be nothing more than a low-rent loser. You're gonna be the guy. You're gonna be the guy who, when they have dollar hot dog day at Santa Anita, you're gonna be waiting out there the night before to get in. Wow, that's you. And you predict this. You can predict this, right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Man, host slash psychiatrist. That's Tom Likas right there. Well, I, clearly you're you're Albert Einstein here. You're the one who knows what's going on. Me, the self-made multimillionaire, I'm just a moron. You, knocking up your girlfriend and making $8 or $10 an hour, whatever it is, you clearly are the genius here. Well, I didn't say I was a genius. I mean, you ask me questions, I'm answering them for you. Right. And you're you're trying to tell me you know more than I do. Yes, not going to college, working as a skip tracer, and knocking up your girlfriend, you're a lot smarter than I am. I was smarter than you. I mean, obviously, I wouldn't be calling for advice if I knew someone. Oh, well, what advice do you want? Well, you know, I mean, you could help me out with something. Help you what? I don't know. Obviously, you tell me to go to school. That's something I bet you that uh, I didn't know. You didn't know there were schools? Well, I knew that there were. I mean, obviously, you're saying that, 50, you know, you, you made a fact. You said 50000 isn't nothing in Southern California. Okay. Well, I was surviving right, but, I mean, in the long term, right? You were surviving. So right. Is that what you want to do, survive? Not survive, you know, make decent money, make a decent living. You, know, you, you, are, you, are, you are showing no evidence of making a decent living. You have no training, no tools, no ability, no experience. All right, Tom, well, just for you, you know, I'm going to go and look into that. Sorry, oh, you're going to do it for me? Well, for myself, and Well, you've already robbed me of my dignity. No, 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 no. Son, you stripped yourself of your dignity a long time ago. Oh, man. Wow. Yeah, a $900 a month studio. What city is that in? That's in uh, Brea. In Brea. Right. About 4,000 miles from civilization. With the start. Like I said, if I'm 40 years old calling, I mean, come on, it's a different story. I believe me, you're gonna You're going to be 40 years old calling in. <laughs> no. Oh, yeah, you are. Uh, I doubt that. There you'll be with your little daughter, the slut running around. You'll be calling me for advice, like mother, oh, like daughter. It's going to be a boy. Oh, you already I know? know? Oh, I, I know it has to be a boy. No, no, no. You don't know that. Oh. Uh, unless you've got the sonogram in front of you, you don't know what it's going to be, son. You know, your problem is you think you know everything. You don't know anything. All right, well, Tom, I mean, that's, that's just, I'll just let you know how I feel. I'm not Where is your father, anything. by the way, during all this? Are you just chilling at home? That's part of the problem here. Well, what, what he am I be, missing? He should, he, be kicking, he should be kicking your ass. Your father's too soft. So I should just be a self-made millionaire like yourself, right, Tom? You don't have to be a millionaire, but there's a big uh, chasm between being a self-made multimillionaire and being a $12 an hour loser with a $900 a month studio and a knocked up girlfriend in Brea. There, there is an in-between there somewhere you could probably reach. Well, no, right. no, yeah. you're going to be you're going to be the number one skip tracer in Orange County. It's going to be very exciting. 
It was 14 an hour. Ooh. Ooh wee. Hold on a second well, here. Hey, 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 real quickly, uh, Robert, what did you want to say to Jim? Hey, uh, hey, Jim, you know, I work at a grocery store. We're hiring, man. I'll take your application. <laughs> Actually, like I was you. thinking about uh, applying at Tom Like's studio in North Hollywood. That's what I was thinking about doing next. Well, you know, you, you're talking about saving money. You're going to have to, you know, earn a little more than $14, you know. So uh, why don't you come over? We'll take your application. After about uh, four years, you'll be making uh, 17 bucks. That's, That's about uh, 45 that. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, now now all I do is uh you know work for the family. You know that's my life. You know I enjoy it, but shoot, you didn't even choose it. Your lady chose it for you, and you know you're too stupid to even uh, listen to the things not to do to not have a kid. Like I would never, I would never go in a hot tub. Tom, where'd you come up with that? Uh, it would be wrong. Yeah, that'd be wrong. Especially having yeah. her drink champagne or make make sure she doesn't vodka drink and Red Bull. That would be oh, that would be the worst. Like, Hey, hey, Tom, tell him, tell him not to buy her any Andre Brut champagne. Yeah, that would definitely be wrong. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. When you go to a bar or something or a dance club and people leave their beers on the side and a girl asks you to buy her a beer, just grab that beer and take it to her. Don't let her see you, though. And then if she asks you, hey, this beer's half drank, I'll be like, well, I took a sip. I'm buying it for you. Don't be so stingy. And she'll drink it anyway. And there's a free <laughs> beer, baby. It's the Tom Likas Show. Like it, show hello. Hey Tom, how's it going? Great. Man, I gotta apologize to you. I grew up down here in Southern California, moved up to Oregon, made all the mistakes that you talk about, man. Been married and divorced twice. Had a kid that I wasn't even married to her mother, and I made all the mistakes. But I gotta tell you, moved back down here to Southern California. I'm getting it right. Listen to you every day, preaching that 101 to everybody I know, man. I love that. So, yeah, it just, uh, I, I, I got to tell you, I should have followed the advice all along. Are you getting more ass than a toilet seat? Nowadays, yeah. Yeah, now, now it's cool, you know. But, uh, you know, the the drama that these, these fellas talk about, they wouldn't even be there if they just listened to you, man. Yep, I agree with you. So I just want to tell you, thanks a lot for the great show, the great advice, man. You make my life a lot happier. Thank you for the call. I appreciate it. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Sammy, on the Tom Liger show. Hello. Hey, to Dad, Tom. Thank you very much for taking my call. Okay. I uh, really like to thank you for saving my life over here. You know, it's like uh, I got out of school about uh, two years ago and uh, joined this uh, company and. Uh, I had this work and all. I saw this real nice-looking girl and everything, and I was chasing her for, like, a long time. Yeah. And, you know, she wanted to be friends and things like that, but I don't want to be friends. I wanted to be more than that. But she, you know, she just I kind of loved No, I want it to be honest. less than that. Friendship, yeah. friendship is very important. I don't, yeah, want well, it to be, I don't want it to be more than friends. I want it to be less than friends. Yeah, I mean, I wanted more than that. But the thing was she kind I of You want more than that. You want less than that. No, no, no. I wanted more than that because, I mean, she kind of, like, sometimes will, you know, let me hold her hand and say, like, oh, yeah, we will discuss our future and things like that. So I thought everything was cool and everything. And then I found out that, you know, she was also going ahead and uh, dating other guys and everything. So I got pretty upset with that. But I kind of, like, uh, asked her about that. And she said, well, we're just friends and, you know, we're not really serious and everything. So Well, that that, said, oh. that is exactly why when a woman says she wants to be your friend. Uh, when they say the phrase just friends, that's how little women think of friendship. Oh, we're just friends. Our email address is my name, Tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.